Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis. So, yeah, it's Tuesday. What's really happening? We know very well that we are going to have CPI later on. So what's happened yesterday? Yesterday, it was Monday, obviously, but the market gave us some false moves. Uh, I hope on the other ones, my people did make profit, but I'm sure that on the other ones, we actually took a loss. I think we were uh, aggressive on that. We were not supposed to take that, especially on NASDAQ. So um, you can see here, we have this 500 rent account. Uh, we had a loss. You can see the we opened something there. You can see that the this account was up. The account was 570 something now it's 510 so but we are still in a smaller profit by the way so it means that we are still on plus that's why when you trade you don't really have to actually lose all of your profits right so what's really happening here is yeah i think i've been actually aggressive even though it's not really a bigger loss but i think it was been aggressive but I want you to see when we say, yeah, it's possible. It's possible to trade nicely without any issues. Uh, the only thing that you can do is to not to go aggressive on the market. You can see here, first uh, loss, it was 34. I opened the other one. I thought maybe the market was going to reverse. Guess what? The market just uh, kept pushing and that was a, a loss. That's what you see here. The market, we were on 5.8, five I think, 5.70 something. Then now we are on 510, but we are still on that uh, profit. So now we have a signal in the group. So I'm going to take that or let me just take it here while everyone is watching. I'm not going to risk uh, that much today. I'm going to open with 0 0.03. Uh, then it's a buy. Let's go there. You can see it's a buy. I'm going to place my stop loss. Uh, I'm willing to risk only 50 so that is going to be an order you see so uh, let me hide that if it goes against me uh, then it means that even in the group uh, we all took that as a loss if it goes against me but later on we're going to have cpi guys we're going to have cpi so i'm going to hold that we will see if maybe we're gonna eat or not right so that's how we do it so i'll also show you how i send the signals in the group so there is nothing wrong if we took a loss we took a loss if we win we win and most of the time we uh, mostly win so what's really happening in the market uh, let me show you the economic calendars uh, you can check cnbc for some updates but what's really happening today is half past three we are going to have cpi so for those uh, yesterday, actually, it was difficult for me to update everyone. We had some low shading, uh, which is power cuts. And also I had some issues with my internet connection, but I think today everything is back to normal, but uh, low shading is still here, unfortunately. So tomorrow on Wednesday, we don't really have much. Uh, on Thursday, we have unemployment change uh, from Australia. And we also have retail sale from the U.S. We have core PPI from uh, U.S. on Friday. So that is going to be some very interesting week. So which means expect some movements this week. Expect some ups and downs, highest the lows, whatever. But the most biggest one is going to be our CPI. So on this CPI, the forecast or estimates, they estimate that things they're going to go a little bit lower. I'm also estimating the same. I think the dollar is going to lose some momentum and we can able to buy a NASDAQ and US data. So what is my take on the CPI? So what I'm going to do, guys, you saw that uh, we have a 500, 500 uh, account, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to split that account. I don't really want to lose this account because it's a growth account. It's not like money making account. I want this account to grow uh, smaller. So maybe I might withdraw, not withdraw, transfer maybe 200 or 250 and leave it in the in the in that account. And if I'm confident that I should take those uh, that those news, I can. Maybe we can make something because I know that I can re uh, recover that 250 very quick. 
if maybe it's not a actually necessary i will just leave that why because i can't just lose half of my account because of one uh, event i rather wait see what's really happening then i can jump on the market so i have uh, i have choice i have choices uh, to choose uh what should i do i'm not forced there's people who when they see the news guys when it's nfp or when it's uh, cpi it seems like they're forced to trade them you are not forced we know you, you want to make money but you are not forced when you don't really understand what's really happening just leave you're still gonna trade after that right so anyways i think that it's much better i think maybe it's enough so for those who wants to be part of the team let me know you can just post the screen there uh, just let me know for those who wants to win a uh, prop firm or funded account or maybe if you just want to trade profitably profitably and you want me to be on your side you can be in the same private group where i talk to you every day take this don't take this actually it's part of mentor it's like mentoring on your trades and you want to make it you want to pass your stages you just want to reach your target there is 350 prof challenge or maybe if you want to win your challenge even though it, sometimes you might really still join this even it's not even though it's not really a problem as long as maybe you want to be consistent and you just need someone who is going to be there for you like non-stop sort of account management but not exactly that right because I'll, I'll be there assisting you left and right so let me know if you want to be part of that so now what's really happening we are on dxy dollar index dollar index what's really happening we can easily see that since since last week uh, the market did a uh, breakout and then what do we see we can easily see that the market is just playing games here. the market is just consolidating quite similar to here the market broke out and started to consolidate so what will happen we don't really know much but we expecting that maybe cpi is gonna go lower which means the dollar will lose that momentum and if it loses that momentum if we are right it means we expecting to see the market pushing up uh, sorry down so can we take that uh a risk it depends sometimes you take this risk and it pays off sometimes you take it and sometimes you lose but if you want to take it don't just risk all of your account you can just say okay i will put only 50 i will put only 100 whatever the amount that you want to risk so don't risk everything or you can just stay out of the market you are not forced simple as that so Yes, so here is what we are waiting for. I'm waiting for the market maybe to show me what's really happening. On this one, I already concluded, guys. The market is actually on a nice uptrend. I'm expecting the market to push to the upside. If the market doesn't really push the upside, it means it will be pushing lower. But with the news, it changes everything. With the news, it changes everything. We know very well that the news, they don't really have power to change the market structure. Yes, that is possible and that is true. But maybe we might see a nice sell. Then after the market might start to continue pushing up. We will see right so if you are new to this channel don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends um yeah if you've been here for quite long you know what to do just smash that like that, that, that just smash that like right so now we are on usdjpy what's really happening we still have this buy i think i have to update you guys about this we had this for for quite some time since last week i think we have four five days now so i think it's five days yeah we are on this uptrend is usdjpy but the market is very slow it's slower so what will happen later on i'm expecting maybe to see a nice reversal before we see another push but with this type of a structure it seems like the dollar is quite stronger against jpy so yes there is a possibility to see the market pushing to the upside but a reversal it's also good right a reversal it's also good so that we can have a nice buy here or maybe a retest on this uh, you see this resistant maybe we can have a nice retest here before the market shoots into the upside what i like about the about the structure or about this trade is the market never even went against us the market unfortunately even though the market never went against us uh, we never made any bigger profit 
the market was just playing around. So that is called consolidation. Plus, we know that it's pre, uh, it's it's before um, a news. So when we have high impact news, most likely the market won't be moving that much. So you can even uh, even see here on GBPUSD, we had this crazy structures going on. Uh, the structure was actually a very nice uptrend. You can see we come in from this nice downtrend. What we see here is the market is trying to do what to push to the upside. The market is trying to push the upside but we had a crazy breakout and when we think maybe the market was just going to continue pushing lower nope the market created something like a reversal there now the market is back again on that support area so the question is will the market push up or the market push down it's up to the market and it's up to the, to the cpi what are we going to do is just that we just going to do our analysis and take the direction that we think it's right yes we can still wait for the figures to be released then we can just follow them or maybe sometimes when we do that sometimes the market will be like seriously far but if you think about it that is just one candlestick so you can't just sacrifice your account only for that one candlestick you can still catch so many uh, moves going further so what's the direction of this it's a bit confusing but if you check the structure you can see that we had this support we also have this diagonal support so now it means the market is actually playing uh, between the support so now our job is to just wait and relax it seems like the market wants to push the upside or maybe this is just a sort of a retest where the market wants to push lower again but for us to confirm the sell the market has to break this uh, resistance then we can that support then we can say now it's time to continue selling simple as that so let's push to the next one let's push to the next one which is actually euro usd euro usd yes with this structure it seems to be a very nice uh, downtrend but we are coming from a very strong uh, bullish momentum guys we are coming from a very nice bullish momentum we had something like that something like that you see i've been drawing that for quite some time so what's really happening now is the market is giving us this uh, sort of consolidation structures but it's fine because we're no longer in any entry so it shows us that the market is just consolidating here so the best thing that we can do is to just wait for cpi it's a bit confusing now but since we broke out of that support i'm expecting to see the market continue uh, to continue selling if we don't really talk about cpi but when we talk about CPI, cpi it's a different story it's way too important news like interest rates mostly they check cpi before they increase the rates or cut the rates or pause the rates so it means inflation is way too important so let's hope let's hope that maybe here we're gonna see a continuation whether the market is gonna reverse it's up to the market we'll just follow the market structure we don't really have to create our own thing yes deep down we want the dollar to lose the, the momentum so that we can buy and if that doesn't really happen we don't really have to force i hope you understand that so now let's push to the next one which is actually gold just us gold also uh, actually bullied us yesterday we saw the market was trying to push the upside very nice uh, you can see the structure still makes sense. The structure still makes sense. So we had this type of a structure. The market was here. We tried to take that buy pending order because the market was trying to push the upside. You can see it's not like maybe we jumped early. We just placed our buy pending order there. Smaller profit, boom, the market just took us out. And we were not going to uh, uh, stretch our stop loss up to that point that was painful also so yeah yesterday it was not really good but it seems like the market is trying to push up again so when we lose start, try to stay out of the market another thing that I, I, we have to change guys we'll have to make sure that our stop loss is a bit longer but the lot sizes are supposed to be smaller so that we can able or our account can able to handle those but if your account is already small i don't expect anyone to trade gold unless if maybe you're trading on micro or mini accounts that can be good but the bigger structure here this is what i hate you can still lose when we are still going on the same direction the market is still uptrending the market did reverse but yes we lost but we are our direction was actually correct 
you see and we have to actually correct that also we just have to make sure that uh, when we open our orders make sure that the stop loss is little bit lower make sure that the uh, the market can breathe but some some other ones or other structures you can't push your stop loss to that point this is four hours time frame by the way so you can't try to stretch your stop loss just to accommodate that trade sometimes it's better to take a loss than trying to not lose so not to lose you see so maybe our stop loss was going to be there to place it here it was going to be rough what if the market doesn't really uh bounce back that is going to be a different story and we're not fighting the market by the way you see so now we are on us 30 i did not really remove that i wanted to show you that so what's really happening you can easily see that yes the market is actually on a very nice bullish momentum let's see this maybe on a daily time frame maybe we'll get a different structure guys uh for those who just uh, i think there's people who are afraid to say i took a loss one to hey it's part of the game especially as long as you understand where you went wrong what did you do wrong and what can you improve but if you just do some stuff and you don't really understand that is the problem you see so on a daily time frame you can easily see that that it's actually a resistant a proper resistant there but you can easily see that we that's why we will go on a four hours time frame what's really happening is yes the market is actually on a nice bullish momentum you can see that the market is continuing another thing that i like about our strategy is we don't really just sell buy sell buy against the market if the trend is pushing up we only look for buy that reduces the losses for quite some time you can see that every buy that we took even though we had some reversals here and there but 80 percent of the time we smashed the market so what happened yesterday is the market was pushing up very nice i was waiting the time the network was very bad we were waiting 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 guess what the market is breaking out the market is breaking out of this resistance Guess what? I even placed this stop loss uh, pending order a little bit higher. The market went, touched that smaller profit, boom. Very closer to the stop. I don't know if we touched that. If we did not really touch that, it means we're not really out. But if we touched that, that was aggressive reversal. Then now the market is trying to bounce back. So that is a pure loss, by the way. But I think today we're going to get it right. Maybe we're going to have another trades or another opportunities that we can try to take so that is a pure loss obviously but just know that what we uh, we win we win eight percent of the time than what we actually lose the problem is when you don't really know how to apply the law uh, the, the the risk management you end up losing more than what you're supposed to lose and that is not really what you're supposed to do when you go on the market you should know how much you're supposed to lose and that is something that will help you to take some losses and still stay longer in the game and when you stay longer in the game it means when things are going nice it means yeah you are going to do something so what's really happening on nasdaq nasdaq 100 what's really happening we can easily see that yes the market is still aggressively on this bullish momentum we are on this buy you can see that the market is pushing up very nice the market is pushing up very nice guys uh what i see here is the market is still flying but if we go closer there you will see what we had yesterday the market was pushing very nice we had some bullish momentum we did eat very nice uh, previous days but what we had here it was a different story um i think we had this as a resistant and we had a nice buy the market went in a smaller profit but we had this aggressive reversal and you can see that we don't really have this type of reversal here and there this is four hours time frame but yes as the market did uh, reverse very aggressively and yeah there's nothing we can do there there's nothing we can do we took that loss it was not really good uh, but i'm expecting to see the market reverse which means now this is going to be our 
our um, our resistance so what we're going to do is we're just going to monitor this we have this buy pending order i'm expecting the market to reverse a little bit but later on i'm also expecting to buy so let's hope that the market will be around this level before we see that buy if not it means that the market might start to show us some maybe some sales or something like that but i'm expecting to see that buy s p 500 also did the same thing we had this bullish move the market was just breaking out guys you can see here the market broke out gave us some small position a small profit i was still waiting for the market to reach halfway there so that i can tell my people lock the profits before that then the market reversed you can see that is actually a loss and yeah that's not really good yesterday it was not really good so unfortunately unfortunately it was not really good so i'm expecting maybe to see the market pushing up before maybe we see another reversal so i'm just waiting i'm not going to do anything the only position that we took today it's only on a nasdaq nasdaq 100 that is going to be something that we're going to focus on because it's bit lower it's like around this area i'm expecting it to see i'm expecting it to push to the upset so let's push to the next one let's push to the next one which is german 30 so let me go on this one guys i'm trying to create this group where uh, because i think before we never had this it's a, going to be a group of people who are going to have funded accounts and i'm going to help them so that means that's why we say you can join this part of the team then you can start to whoever if maybe you have prop firm or you find it account let us help you to win your challenges or your stages on you can start to, to to reach your profits on whatever or the targets but what are we going to do but or for those who don't really know is we're not going to split the profit once you make your profits it's your profit we're not going to share anything as long as you paid that uh, a, a fee we're just going to help you to reach that simple as that so we're not going to need anything from you 350 dollars that's what you're supposed to pay then we can uh, be on your neck so that you don't really do the same mistakes so now uh, you can also see our v vip signals packages you can choose the one that you want there and then you can be part of the team and start to eat and the mentorship if you want to do your own signals you do your own analysis have confidence in the market develop that confidence or that mindset you can let us know uh, it's 12 month if you want mentorship plus lifetime signals it's actually 450 dollars which you actually saving more than 350 dollars so let's see what we can get on on german german 30 we are on this push the market is actually pushing to the upset so what i see here is something like this then the market is pushing up again you see that the market is trying to do something like that but the market has been giving us some reversal structures so we have to be extra careful so we can draw maybe something like this just to make uh, this support to be extra visible uh, because i saw the market touching that something like that so i'm expecting to see the market uh, moving like that but around this area we also have this horizontal support so the market can easily break those supports before pushing up again so let's check what's really happening on us oil we can't jump on this we had a very nice buy so we're just waiting for a nice reversal maybe even if it's a smaller reversal we can take that because when we are on an uptrend the market can create another structure inside that trend or maybe the market will reach this support before we can just jump on that so uh, i hope everyone is doing great don't forget to smash that subscribe button like share with your friends thank you very much guys i will see you on the next one bye i hope you're gonna trade cpi very nice but in the group don't worry i will be updating you about cpi so thank you very much bye